Hi, I'm Emma, a Senior Developer Relations Engineer on the Angular team. Today, I'm here to share some fantastic news about Angular and the future of change detection. Change detection is how Angular updates the UI in the browser when the state in the app changes. This could be from user interaction, or maybe some new data is available. Making something happen when there's a change is called reactivity. Angular's reactivity today runs change detection all over your whole application. But what if we were to rethink reactivity in Angular? Well, that's exactly what we've been doing. Before we move on, let's discuss reactivity. So what is reactivity? What if Angular knew more about which state in your application was changing and when it changed? Even better, what if your state could tell Angular itself where it's used and when it changes? So Angular could automatically update whatever depends on that value. With this level of fine-grained control, we believe that application developers can build scalable, performant applications while taking advantage of the features and tooling they love from Angular. With these goals in mind, we found a solution that we think developers and their teams will love. Introducing Angular Signals. You might have come across information about our plans to update Angular to use Signals. So we have another surprise for you. Angular Signals are in developer preview in version 16 today. We cannot wait for you to try them out. To help you get started, let's cover a few of the foundational concepts together. Signals have three core concepts that we call reactive primitives. Signal, computed, and effect. A signal is like a variable and holds a value that can change. Unlike variables, signals can notify Angular when they change. A computed is a kind of signal that calculates its value from other signals and only updates if the values it depends on change. Then we have effects. Effects are functions that execute when the values of the signals they use change, giving developers the opportunity to respond to those changes in a meaningful way. All right, now that we have the fundamental concepts covered, the next step is for you to get started and try it yourselves. Once you do, we wanna know what you think. You can get started by heading to goo.gle forward slash angular dash signals. All right, that's it for me. And for you, that's your signal to ng update. Bye.